We are with the woman of the hour, our good friend Katie Smith, because uh, we're, as we tape this, just moments before we tape this, Katie, you found out okay. you are going to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. Yeah. I can't imagine what you're feeling. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's really, I, I'm literally, when I got the phone call, I was like, this is nuts. You know what I mean? Like, you grow up in Logan, you play basketball because you love it, and all of a sudden you're like on the big stage. And then, you know, got into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, and it's all happening right before I take my first head coaching job. Oh. So there's all this excitement and, and uh, appreciation. And it's really nice because it's later in your career, so you really get to enjoy kind of the experience. I can't tell you how proud we are of you. I mean, it's so crazy. It's it great. really is. It really is. It's so this, your weekend's just crazy. You are the most popular per person in town to take a picture with this week as yeah. you've gone to the Final Four. Take me through what it's been like to come back here and to be a representative of this game and of this city. Oh, Linda Logan is the one that does all the work. <laughs> so well, yeah. so I show credit. up. I show up. No, but Michelle Perry, the local organizing committee. Um, but to be in Logan has been really, really special. You're doing great. I mean, this is this is really really cool to be a part of, and and it's been it's been awesome to see the reaction to it. I, I know it's important to you, but to see the game grow. Ah, it's, Katie, that was unbelievable last night. Last night we have two overtime games, and to have the four seeds, and it's a knockdown drag out with the talent that's on the floor. You have seniors that are going to the WNBA. You're going to have juniors that are going to be WNBA talents, and for Ohio to be able to see that and fans come to our city, I mean, it's just really been a great thing. Let's break down last night's games a little uh -huh. bit. Obviously, yeah. the UConn game is the national headline yeah. game. That's yeah. the one that everybody's yeah. going to look at. Yeah. Katie, what? UConn lost in the semifinal a year ago, and they brought back a more veteran team. How did Notre Dame get this done? Hey, you know what? Notre, uh, Connecticut has a solid team, but Notre Dame, I'll tell you what, I don't know what it is, the injuries, what Muffet's done, but it's been a heck of a coaching job, and it's, and it's the discipline and the determination by them. They fight all year, but they're talented, and they and they play defense, and, and Muffet schemes very well. So the talent, honestly, and the rivalry. you got you got to remember that they know each other very, very well. They don't necessarily love each other, either. <laughs> right? So the, the juices were flowing. The competition was great. So, I, again, I thought all games were going to be competitive, and yeah. I didn't know if they were going to overtime, but I really thought that we had, you know, the top teams that were here. So Mississippi State last night, obviously a year ago, they're the ones that beat uh -huh. UConn in the semifinal. Uh -huh. They lost the championship game. Yep. Now they get another shot at it. Can you imagine what they're thinking? You know, I think it's 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 different from this year. They, they had the experience. They had the, oh, my gosh, we're in the Final Four to, this is business. Like, we want to finish this thing off. So I, I think their mindset's a little different, but I think, you know, Notre Dame, same way. I mean, you have two talented teams that just, they think they believe believe they can get it done, and I think we're going to have another great game. In terms of the presentation the country saw last night, they saw a beautiful arena. Oh, yeah. They saw the court was fabulous. Uh -huh. They saw the best four teams in women's uh -huh. basketball. Just take me through what the showcase means, not only for Columbus, but for growing the sport that you care about. Man, it looks, it looks good, and, yeah. and our city is just set up for the convenience of the arena, the convention center, the hotels, and, and restaurants and everything. Like It has it all here, yeah. but we also have great fans. Like I ran into so many people last night. To, yeah, of course, they wanted the Buckeyes here, but they were rocking Notre Dame stuff and Louisville, like might as well pick a team. We gotta right. pick, we gotta pick a team to support. So that's the type of atmosphere, and that's why we love Columbus, right? I mean, that's because we all get behind it no matter what, and we want it to succeed, and that's why it's, it's been such a good weekend. Well, as if your weekend could get any better. Yeah, exactly. Later tonight, you're going to receive your championship ring from the oh, Columbus yeah. Quest. 20 years ago, you guys yeah. won the championship. Yeah. 1998. Yeah. You didn't get a championship ring. Nope. You're getting it tonight. Man. You get to see all the girls again. You get to yeah, have that kind of moment. So most everybody's back, which is nuts. And we've, you know, when you win championships, you have a close knit bond. But in Columbus, I, I mean, be able to play at Columbus at Ohio State and then come over as a professional, as an adult, and then get to meet the fans and be friends and, and build relationships was was amazing. And we won a championship. Brian Agler, the, the sports commission, and some folks in the community really were, were big on getting uh, some funding for that. And uh, just to have something to, to to hold on to commemorate our, our year, um, especially. And again, it's another connection to Columbus that we have and people have, and I'm happy we're celebrating it. Katie, we're so proud of you. Hey, I'm, Congratulations, I'm pumped, buddy. Thanks, the you guys. I appreciate best. you. Katie Smith, Hall of Famer. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>